Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel for yet another cool video. Today we're in for a treat. This car that I'm standing in front of gets 100 miles per gallon. That's right, I said the number, 100. behind me is a 1974 city car and it's equipped with a 10 horsepower hatch diesel engine and a two range CVT type transmission with a Comet belt torque converter. It's a fully functional two seat vehicle that is street legal. It's equipped with lights, blinkers and four wheel brakes. Now if you know anything about this car or you have seen one or even heard of the name, you know that this is super, super far from stock. This car actually started out as an electric vehicle with an electric motor and somebody converted this over to a diesel engine. There's been a lot of fabrication work done to it to make this possible. The person I bought this car from did all of the custom work to it. Their goal was to make a car that achieves maximum fuel efficiency. And what they did was they put this diesel engine in this car to make it get 100 miles per gallon. Now I haven't tested that for myself because I haven't even owned it long enough or driven it long enough to get a number for myself but I will take you for a little test drive. I will show you the features of this vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and go inside the cab here and kind of show you what's going on. This car is very, very cool for how old it is. Like I said, it used to be an electric vehicle and the person before me who I bought it from converted it over to a diesel. And a lot of the original functions are still here, like the wipers and whatnot. And uh, it's a push button start. It's got a little horn too. And um, it actually has reverse too. Reverse is very interesting how this has been done. So it has a standard car battery in it and uh, the drive shaft comes through the input shaft and then there's an output shaft that runs out to the back differential. And that's just standard based off the belt that's in the front from the uh, Comet belt torque converter. Now the reverse is very interesting because the reverse is still fully electronic. It utilizes a plow motor and a worm gear to make it work. And when you tilt it up, you can see there's a little handle down here that if I tilt it up, it engages the uh, drive there. And then there's a trigger to squeeze to make it go into reverse. It's very interesting, uh, the fabrication work that went into this. And then there's a little alternator that runs and charges the battery because the engine is not uh, big enough to charge that battery all by itself. Um, efficiently so when it's running down the road it just is charging from that alternator standard turn signal and stuff and uh, there's actually a fan in here there's a heater underneath and it has defrost so it's a very cool vehicle for what it is maximum speed I've gotten it up to so far is 35 miles per hour which is stunning because that barely does the speed limit anywhere around here so it's pretty much useless in an area where I live. But when I saw this car, I just had to buy it. I saw that number 100 miles per gallon and I saw exactly what this whole thing was. And it was just something that I really wanted to buy. You know how I am on this channel. I've done a lot of cool custom work and I do appreciate stuff like this. So this was just the coolest thing I've ever seen. I think outside of my own builds, I still, um, still think my builds are pretty cool. But this is just a unique vehicle. I've never seen anything like this. Now, before I take it for a little drive, and just demonstrate it real quick. This car used to never have a hood out front. It used to just have a uh, slope down. It literally looks like a cheese wedge from stock of what it's supposed to be, but obviously some work had to be done because there's got this diesel engine out front that needed to fit. And then just a quick walk around back. There's a little compartment back here where you can store stuff. I have the spare tire back here and some paperwork, um, manuals and whatnot. 
but it's got a little bit of storage back behind the seats and there's seat belts so if you lived in a flat area let's just say like the beach uh, this is basically a golf cart that would be street legal uh, registered and insured and uh, it would do the trick in a flat area. There's just a lot of hills around here. If you've watched my videos before, there's a lot of hills. So it kind of struggles a little bit, but it is a two speed, uh, two range transmission that you can switch to go faster than what it is set at right now. Cause I have it on the low setting for the hills, but it does, it does pull its way. It does get up the hills, but it's not the fastest machine, but that's not what it was built to be. It was built to be the most fuel efficient car that it could possibly be. Okay, so you get in this car and there's not that much space. It's kind of dirty too. The windows need a good cleaning. They're really dirty, but they do slide open. The dashboard in this thing is really cool. I don't know if these gauges are original or not. I don't even know if they fully work. This is the one that showed me 35 miles per hour. And uh, I think there's an hour meter in there too, but um, just a little, intro to the dash i mean your light switches over here the dimmer the dimmer doesn't work it just stays on one setting uh, there's a reverse engagement switch just the key for the standard power and uh, the wipers which do work and then this is a charge switch which i think is old i don't think that works anymore because there's no uh, electric motor in here this is for the horn and this is your starter button it's got a little light down here uh, there's a parking brake underneath blinker standard fan and uh there's the heat and the defrost controls and uh that's pretty much it on the inside it has a rear view mirror that vibrates like crazy because it was never meant to uh have a diesel in here so it's really loose and um it originally did have one mirror but that uh ceased to exist now so that's pretty much it just an inside tour uh let me go ahead and start this thing up for you are a little wonky they work half the time These are literally probably the most three unique vehicles that could possibly be sitting next to each other. <laughs> Obviously the 6.0 Bronco, this thing, and then my Shorty 7.3 Dually. But you might notice that it, it probably sounds kind of like it knocks, but that's just the way that these Hatz diesels run. They are very noisy engines. So um, that's perfectly normal for this engine. Other than that, I mean, it's, it's not the, prettiest vehicle on the road uh, cosmetically it's got a couple bumps and bruises so yeah like i was saying i mean it's a really cool little piece of uh engineering that got made to pretty much be a science project if you want to call it that i mean it's not a practical vehicle to say the least it is cool um it only going 35 miles an hour in today's world is not very practical 
but um, I suppose if you live somewhere like the beach or somewhere, it'd be a cool little vehicle to have or um, like a neighborhood or something. It's basically, like I said, it's a golf cart. Uh, that's the easiest thing to compare it to. I mean, it runs great. It does everything that it needs to do. So it is a very cool vehicle. And it's definitely a head turner because I've driven this through my neighborhood a few times already. And every time I do, somebody has to look or turn their head and pretty much like, what in the world is that? Um, so it definitely attracts attention. Probably one of the most weird things I've ever seen, like I said before. But um, that's what makes it so cool and unique. So with that said, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. Thank you guys for watching. If you wanna see more videos on this thing, drop it down in the comments below. I don't know what else I should do with it. Um, because like I said, there's so much, so much you can do with a golf cart that goes 35 miles an hour, but uh, maybe I'll do something cool with it. Just let me know what you guys want to see and uh, hit that subscribe button for more projects like this, uh, more truck videos coming and I'll see you guys in the next video.